Good morning, dear student. I hope everyone have completed the trigonometric introduction to trigonometric exercise 8.1. So basically, in this part, we are going to discuss about trigonometric ratios of some specific angles. So first of all, those who have not completed 8.1, I would request you to please complete it at the earliest time. So today's topic, trigonometric ratios of some specific angles. Um, as I have told you before, there are six trigonometric ratios. They are sine, cos, tan, cosec, sec, and cot. Out of this, this three can be written in separate form. That is, sine, for example, sine of a equal to one by cosec. That is the reciprocal terms. Cos of A equal to 1 by sec of A. And tan of A equal to 1 by cot of A. And one more thing, tan A can A be any angle, tan A can be written as sin A by cos of A. These are the basic terms that we are you know looking into it now for example if we know how to find out you know sine of something sine a, let's say i was telling perpendicular p by h cos of a let's say b by h tan is p by b that is p is perpendicular a is hypotenuse b is base and this is hypotenuse and perpendicular and base. So basically, if I say sine, in order to find the sine, we'll get the perpendicular and hypotenuse of the right angle triangle, any right angle triangle. This is what are the basic criteria for trigonometric ratios. So once we got sine, cos, and tan, we can easily find out what is cosec, sec, and cot because they are just the reciprocal terms. So now, uh, situation arise if someone says what is sine 45 degree sine 60 degree cos 90 degree so how to how to get those all those values one table is mentioned in page number 210 page 210 one table is here but in exam it's not possible for us to you know to buy hard all those terms sign what is sign 45 what is sign 60 what is sign 90 so we have a specific concept of finding these trigonometric angles you know one in exam we can easily draw the table it will take hardly two minutes and we can get the answer you know right answer so basically we are going to discuss how to you know draw the table that is trigonometric ratios of some specific angles so uh, I would request you to please listen carefully. Once you know how to draw this table, for you, exercise 8.2 is done. This is how we generally talk about. Now, let's say the first thing we'll make some, you know, draw the structure of the table. We know we required uh, six terms here sine, cos, and putting angle A, cos A. Tan a, cosec a, sec a, and cot of a. So these are the terms. So few angles that we are going to discuss is 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree. These are the angles terms we are going to discuss. Now listen carefully how we are going to do. First of all, I will mark it as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Please listen carefully. 1, 2, 3, 4. The first is done. Second, since this is 0, I will consider it only 1, 2, 4. There are 4 numbers. So divide by 4. Divide by 4. Divide by 4.
So this is how, you know, divide by 4. So once we have done, now we'll take the square root. The square root of the term. Now, what is 0 square root of 0? We'll take it 0. Root of 1 by 4, this is 1 by 2. 2 by 4, I can cancel it. It will look like something 1 by 2. It is 1 by root 2. 3 by root 4, I can consider this as root 3 by 2. And 4, 4, this is 1. Root of 1 is 1. This is how we are getting the first term. The sine of 0 degree is 0, 30 degree 1 by 2, 45 1 by root 2, 61 root 3 by 2, 91. Now, to get the cos, we will just write it in a reverse order. 1, we will write it here. Root 3 by 2, we will write it here. 1 by root 2, 1 by 2 and 0. Very easy terms. This is how we can get sin A and cos A of a particular angle. No need to buy hard, we can easily get it. Now tan. As I have said, tan is nothing but sin A by cos of A. Now I will divide. 0 by 1, 0. 1 by 2, root 3 by 2. If I divide it, I supposed to get 1 by root 3. This is same thing, we will get 1 root 3. Now this something look like 1 divided by 0. 1 divided by 0 is undefined. Similarly for coseke, Cosec we have already discussed. Cosec A is nothing but 1 by sine of A. I will just reverse it. 1 by sine A, 1 by 0, undefined. Next is, this is ulta, 1 by root 2, root 2, 2 by root 3, and 1. Same way, sec A, 1 by cos, 